What's going on, man? What's going on? Y'all know what it is. Another episode of Big Lock TV today. And today, y'all already seen the title. Y'all already know what's up. So, we finna jump right on into it. That 300 blackout versus 5.56 discussion. I know it's a little worn out, but hell, I'm gonna get my input on it anyway. And hey, I appreciate y'all for taking y'all time and stopping by and listening to me, man. So right now, as we stand today in 2022, you can get your regular FMJ uh, 556 rounds for about 80 cents a round. Um, your average standard 300 blackout bullet, you can get for a dollar to a dollar 25 cents a round. Uh, off the top, 556 is going to give you a little bit bang for your buck. Um, the 556 cartridge was created in 1980 off the parents cartridge, the 223, which was developed in 1957. Where as far as the 300 Blackout AAC was created in 2009. So, out the top, 556 got a little bit more history. It's a little bit more coming. As a matter of fact, it's our NATO round. So, everybody got 556. Ain't too many people rocking with the 300 blackout, and it's just honest, and it just comes out the strength of what was in the military long and what's been trusted. Uh, a lot of military forces are switching over uh, to the 300 blackout setup just because you have that bigger uh, projectile coming out of a smaller cartridge round, and you know you got the same setups. For the 556. Five, Matter of fact, when we want to talk about parents, the parent to the 300 blackout is the 556223. Five, two, three. All this is is this cut down stuff with a 30 caliber pill, crimped. And y'all know the rest, man. Y'all know how the bullets work, man. So really, you getting the same powder, the same primers the same shell you really just being innovative and creating some based off what you already had we had 30 caliber pills laying around we had some used shells and i mean you know some used uh rounds and you know we went to work if you ask me it's gonna be hard to choose all right out of 20 inch bear, you're gonna get 3,260 feet per second out of a 55 grain 556 five, bullet. Um, that's with a 20 inch bear. At 16 to 20 inches is when you're gonna reach your full maximum capacity for velocity when you're dealing with 556. Five, when you're talking about 300 blackout, you can have a shorter rig. And still get all your velocity at nine to ten inches. All of 300 blackout powders burn out. So, right here today, I have my 223. She is clear. We have done a visual, a physical check, firing in a safe direction, no magazine. We also have my 300 Blackout. No magazine. We done our visual. We done our physical check. So, when we want to talk about pistols and which one will win this 5.56 five, versus 300 Blackout discussion, I'm going to give the pistol 300 Blackout the W. Because at this barrel length, which is 10 and a half inches, we've burnt off all the gas and we still cooking down range. Nothing wrong with that. That's that's what we want. So this has the options of being suppressed and I'm really not going to lose out too much because of the length of this. This is a 10 and a half inch, 300 blackout, air precision build, built by myself. Uh, 1x4 LVPO, you know, SBA3 uh, tactical brace, uh, ergo grip. And, you know, it's, it's, it's just a nice little setup, just a nice little keg in the front. And um, got a decent little compensator, you know, to help push everything out. 
when you talking about short rigs on the AR platform and you don't want as much bark out the front of the bear as far as um, muzzle flare ups, you want to go 300 blackout all day. Where as far as my range toy, my fun baby, the 10 and a half inch 556, I'm eliminating my velocity because I have a shorter rig. I need another six inches added on to this 10 and a half inch bear in order to get the most out of this platform. But this wasn't my intention when I set up the rig. This I can go to the range with. This I can have fun with. This I'm never selling. I'm never letting go. I love it. I painted it. It's lost its value. It's not worth anything to anybody. You can scrap it for parts. You can repaint it black. But I'm not getting rid of it. This is a fun toy. Talk about it if you want to. This is my setup. It ain't going nowhere. It's loud as hell. It need a can on it. Uh, the damn muzzle flare is crazy. I'm talking about the concussion from it. All oh, is is all crazy. And I chose that in. I knew that going into the game when you have a 10 and a half inch barrel with 5.56. Five, if you want to talk about the data and you want to talk about the numbers, please go get a 16 to 20 inch barrel. <sighs> On the other hand, the 300 blackout with a 16 inch barrel with a 68 grain bullet produces 2,800 uh, feet per second. So, Again, like I said, maximum velocity our 300 blackout is going to be about 9 to 10 inches. Maximum velocity with a 5.56 is going to be that 16 inch barrel length. Uh, another thing, when we want to talk about 5.56 versus 2.23, if you can't decide and you want both, be very, very fucking careful. Listen to me, listen to me now. Be very fucking careful. I cursed because that's how fucking serious it is. If you are going to have 5.56 five, laying around, you cannot, you should not, and because of me, you will not make the mistake that I could have made that would have cost me my life. Loading this 30 caliber pill inside of a 223. It don't even want me to do it. And I'm not going to do it. That's a good damn fall. If you load a 30 caliber pill, which the 223 bear will allow you to, because this is this the parent. This is the parent cartridge. The 223 is the parent cartridge, 300 blackout. It will slide inside the board, no problem. You won't have any mishaps. It will allow you to. But the thing is, when you go to squeeze that trigger, the pressure, that small explosion that's supposed to happen inside the barrel of the gun, it's going to happen and it's going to come outside of the gun. In some shape, form, or fashion, this gun is going to break apart. Metal parts will fly around and they can hit you or your loved one. So a nice fun day at the range getting uh, rounds off training could end horrifically if you do not take the time and you separate your 300 blackout from your 556. Having them on the table right now is even dangerous for me. I have to be very mindful that I never mix up this cartridge with this cartridge when I'm at the range. If I load 300 blackout and I press bang, when the firing pin uh, strikes the primer, this gun will explode. I'm going to tell you by the time when I was at the range and um, I had just got rid of my 300 blackout. Got rid of all the ammunition, I thought. Um, had a can loaded up with... Uh, Five, five, six, and I'm trying to, you know, sight my gun in. I'm talking to my friend, uh, and I got down to the last of my can, and I loaded up. 
what I thought was all two, two, three, five, five, six. I went to go squeeze the trigger. Bang. Um, just the firing pin hit the primer. And I said, that's weird. Usually, an explosion would have happened. Ryan would have been sit down range. Uh, we have a hole in the paper. And that didn't happen. What ended up happening was I had a light primer strike on a 300 blackout inside of a 223 rig. Matter of fact, it was this rig. This gun actually saved me from dying. Uh, if I would have never stopped what I was doing, uh, ejected that round and checked out what the fuck was going on and said, let me just try it again, something bad was, was supposed to happen. But God was on my side. And fortunately, this, this Ruger 556 was on my side. So fortunately, I didn't have any mishaps. But that's one of the unfortunate mishaps that could happen if you make the mistake of loading in 300 blackout uh, instead of 223. Um, again, back to the versus side of it, um, 223 is a little bit more relevant, uh, has a little bit more, help me out here, people. Relability. It's more accessible. Let's just say that. This is more accessible right now and it has always been over uh, 300 blackout. Uh, before the pandemic, before any spikes in gun prices, uh, gun sales, ammunition sales, you can get a box of 20 for $6. You can get a box of 20 for $15. This has never got back down to that $6 range. These have always kind of been high and kind of always stayed high. They're getting a little bit more expensive, then they get a little bit more cheaper. You'll find some Gorilla starts to make it. Um, some steel companies are making it. Um, so you're finding it, but you what you want to find is that, that hunting ammunition. The hunting ammunition, Underwood, Horny D, uh, Gorilla makes a nice bullet. Uh, 300 Blackout has more options as far as the type of ammunition you can put in here. Um, if you have a 5.56 five, bear, of course you can shoot 2.23, two, 5.56. And of course they make deer hunting loads. Uh, but usually they all range from 55 grains to uh, 70 grain is where 300 blackout always uh, starts right around 70. It can get as high as 210, 215, uh, which is what this bad boy here is. So I give you, uh, you get a little bit more heavier impact and bullet when you go with 300 blackout. And it's kind of why the military been adapting to it because it got more of a thump when you hit. Uh, there's been a lot of friendly fire accidents with 556, five, and we've just seen that 223556 five, five, isn't the most uh, forceful round that we could, you know, be equipped in our soldiers. Of course, we want to just uh, equip everybody with 458 SOCOMs or give everybody 308, uh, you know, long guns or, you know, scars or some shit. 556 five, is always great to be able to be lightweight, uh, easily accessible, uh, always able you know, to be reloaded quickly, uh, very light. Uh, you can tote a shit ton of rounds, flat shoe. It's a great fucking round, but it's just not as effective as it needs to be for certain applications as far as what I mean overseas need. This was a win. The 300 Black Eye was most definitely a win. Um, I, I love the two. Explaining why here today I have a 300 Black Eye and a 556. Uh, this is my hand rig. <laughs> it's, it's a little new school, right? Uh, it's not too many years go back. You can say, yeah, this is what I hunt with. And... 
it be this short. <laughs> this is a 10 and a half inch upper uh, on an AR. Um, for hunting season, I like to go with a light 115, 110 grain underwood uh, max expansion bullet versus, uh, you know, going out with a 30 out 6 or 308, which I do have. Uh, the 115s shoot flatter, but they don't shoot as flat as 556, five, but they have that thump. You're not going to get the wound cavity you want out of a 223 versus that 300 black eye. you got a 30 caliber for a reason um the issue is this is going to shoot flatter because you're taking a heavier bullet but you're using just about the same amount of powders in order to eject this round once this once it's ejected if it's heavier like the, the 210 this one is this baby here gonna drop so if you're gonna hunt and you're gonna choose 300 blackout you have to hunt with a 15 grain uh as far as if you're hunting with 223 if you get one of their deal rounds point of aim point of impact all the way out to 200 um uh, because it's just that quick and fast of a bullet 300 blackout you got to go with 15 grain because if you go 210 and you want to shoot out from 50 to 100 wait for a six inch bullet drop I'm, i I can tell you that personally i've missed a deer because i've loaded up a 210 bullet instead of a 115. It, the choice is yours so just a little recap this 223556 conversation versus 300 blackout really can't be decided by just these specs I went on. It's going to take a personal experience for yourself. Again, be mindful of price. Be mindful of the history. Be mindful of what matters to you and your setup. 300 blackout, great for home defense. 210 grain bullets. Protect your home, protect your family, and, you know, express the right to uphold the Second Amendment. Uh, 223, 556, five, great round, great impact around. Lots of history, cheap, affordable, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's a great setup, but the impact of it for wounding or permanent wound cavities not doing the numbers that the 300 black are doing if that's the application um this 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 a puncher though this quick lightning for you but this my thunders so right now i got lightning and thunder who can be mad at lightning and thunder these two here these my these my babies they model after each other. I had this one first. I built this one. So it's, it's, it's really beautiful, man. And I always remember, you see these fingers? They off the trigger. I know my gun unloaded, but they gonna stay off the damn trigger. Keep your fingers off the damn trigger. It's fucking simple. Keep your fucking fingers off the trigger. You ain't ready to shoot at something? Keep your fingers off the trigger. You wanna aim at something? I ain't.